Whether you love them or hate them, apps do make our lives easier. It's a bit of a shame if you hate them, considering we've grown so dependent on them over the last decade or so. And these days, a lot of them allow us to automate our finances. If you want to leave your traditional bank in the dust like these companies are, then let's go. Hey everyone, it's Lewis back again with another video and today, let's make our financial lives a little easier, shall we? Now, I'm an active finance person, so I tend to not automate my finances as much as other people might want to, but it simply doesn't matter anymore if you don't know much about this investing stuff these days. This is no longer the 80s, 90s, or even the noughties. Since the dawning of the smartphone, cheers Steve, apps have allowed us to pawn off some of the stuff that we had to control ourselves before this time in order for us to spend time on things that we actually enjoy a little bit more, which is great. And the finance industry is no different. There are so many brilliant fintech companies out there that will take the grunt work out of the equation and allow you to become a saver and investor without having you to do it yourself really, if anything. This is the set and forget type of stuff that will put you in a good position for your financial future. All right, so first of all, let's start with saving and these algorithms can help you do that. Number one, we've got chip. Before Chase came along and my innate need to control all of my finances, I used to use Chip for all of my short-term savings goals. For you, this could be the likes of holidays, household projects, maxing out your lifetime ISA, all that good stuff. The algorithm that Chip uses is special. It doesn't take a lot of time to set up at the start and by the end of the year, you'll be shocked at how much you'd have put away without much effort on your part. If you don't wanna be much of an active saver but still have things such as an emergency fund building up for you in the background, look no further than Chip. So it has their award-winning algorithm that links to your bank account of choice via the open banking system, which is completely safe and secure and goes to work from then onwards. By the way, CHIP is fully regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, as all of the apps that I've mentioned today are, as are they with every single bit of savings up to £85,000, fully protected by the Financial Savings Compensation Scheme. So every four days, it will save an amount that you can afford to put away no matter what level you keep your savings at. You can go from level one, which is a very conservative level, all the way to a super aggressive level five of savings. It does this by scanning your ingoings and outgoings from your bank account's history in order to understand just how much you can save each week without feeling it. This allows you to be able to spend money on the things that you enjoy, like going out with your mates, but also save some money back at the same time. Chip also has some investment options, so you can do the same for your investing as well. They even offer a stocks and shares ISA via their Chip X plan, which costs three pounds a month. All of their investment options are provided by BlackRock, which is one of the world's biggest investment providers. But anyway, enough of that, keeping on the saving side, you can set up to five savings goals as part of the free plan, earn interest with their partner savings account provided by Alica, and there's also payday put away options so you can just put away a certain amount of money each month instead of letting the algorithm do it for you every week. It is all completely your choice here, and if you've not ever used Chip before and all of this sounds very good to you, you can get yourself £10 by signing up using my link down below in the description. Then there's Plum. So we've got raisins, apples, blackberries, and now plums. The world of fintech and tech seems to absolutely love fruit. Now their savings options works a lot like chips. Again, they have an algorithm which saves weekly for you and allows you to set levels of your saving as well. On top of that, they also offer investment options, including a stocks and shares ISA. They also add in a SIP, which is a self-invested pension plan, and now offer the ability to invest into hundreds of individual US stocks like Apple, Tesla, and good old Coca-Cola. They've also recently introduced some great new budgeting options including a physical card that allows you to spend on it without actually topping up from your bank. This is hidden all behind a paywall with Plum Ultra that for $4.99 a month unlocks all of the investment options, a money maximizer that gives you a weekly spending allowance so you'll never overspend again, a savings account with up to 1.15% interest and a ton of other goodies. For a fiver a month, it's not a bad plan to be fair. However, if you again just want a place to save your money automatically each month, you don't have to have the other bells and whistles that Plum offers. I pay just one pound a month for Plum's Plus plan, 
Try saying that three times drunk. This also gives me the option to invest into a SIP, which I have simply set up to put away money into that for me each and every week automatically, along with having the option of having a savings account via a pocket that provides 1.15% interest. You can set Plum's splitter so that the algorithm can save and invest 50% each of what goes into there or any other percentage up to 100 that you want. They even have something called rainy days, which literally sets money aside for you for whenever it actually rains based on your location. So if you live in the UK, you'll basically be a millionaire come winter. <laughs> Seriously, other than this current heat wave that we're going through, which is a joke right now, it rains all the damn time here. Seriously. Again, if Plum sounds like it's up your street, I do have a referral link as I use this personally, so check it out below if you want to. All right, so let's move on to investing. And again, there are some great automation options out there for you, thanks to some of the apps that we have access to in the UK. So first of all, we have Nutmeg, which is the absolute go of automated investing at the moment. Nutmeg is the biggest digital wealth manager in the UK, aka a robo advisor that has over 150,000 clients. They also have over four billion pounds in assets under management, and they have also won Boring Money's Best Buy ISA in 2021, and won YourMoney.com's Stocks and Shares ISA of the Year every single year between 2015 to 2019. Oh yeah, and they're owned by JP Morgan Asset Management, which is a wing of the company JP Morgan Chase, which is the biggest banking company in the entire world. So they're very trustworthy. So when you first sign up to Nutmeg, you'll be asked questions about your risk tolerance and from those answers, Nutmeg will then choose a portfolio that is right for you from their four investment styles. This includes a more riskier, aggressive portfolio and an ESG-based portfolio. Nutmeg's robo-advisors invest in ETFs, not individual stocks, so their track record outperforms most of the actively managed funds that deal in individual stocks. An additional plus is that the portfolios are globally diversified, so you'll have your money spread all over the world. And another great thing is that all of the returns on your investments could be tax-free as Nutmeg offer a stocks and shares ISA, a lifetime ISA, a junior ISA for your kids, and a SIP for pensions. However, if you've already opened and are paying into another ISA this tax year, they've got a general investment account as well. So there is something for everyone here. They're also very reasonable when it comes to their fees. As with all investing, unfortunately, you are going to be charged a fee of some sort. Now, their fully managed, smart, alpha, and socially responsible funds charge 0.75% up to 100K and 0.35% beyond that, and their fixed allocation fund charges 0.45% up to 100K and 0.25% beyond. So the more money that you invest, the less you pay, and it's all below 1%. There are also average investment fund costs and average market spreads that you've got to be aware of, but these are all very small percentages that shouldn't affect your investments too much. An investment account that I personally use, Trading212, is also one of the biggest investment platforms in the UK, and it's great for automation. They offer an absolute deluge of individual stocks, ETFs, and commodity trackers, also known as ETCs, so there is something for everyone here. They offer commission-free investing as well, and their automations are pretty awesome. They have a feature called Pies, which is a take on the pie chart style of portfolios that have been widely adopted in investing since now what feels like the dawning of time. With Pies, you can set up your own personalized asset allocation of what you want to invest in. Here's mine as an example. 50% into Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, 30% into Vanguard's All World ETF, and 10% each into iShares' Global Clean Energy and Physical Gold Funds. That right there is a nicely diversified portfolio that spreads my risk relatively evenly. But if you don't want to make one up of your own, you can literally just head over to the Pi library where Trading212 users have created their own and shared it with others. This is much like eToro's copy trader feature, which you may have seen going around especially in the old YouTube ads department. The most popular pie with over 1.6 million views and almost 34,000 copiers is an almost daily dividends pie where you'll be paid dividends, well, almost daily. The ultimate passive income portfolio. But this portfolio isn't just into any old companies that they've picked out of a hat. The likes of Apple, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's, PepsiCo, and JP Morgan Chase are all here. These kinds of massive companies are held in pension funds, so you're good here for years. Set and forget and grow rich. 
Another automation feature is auto invest. If you turn this feature on, you can set an amount that you want to invest, how many years you want to do this for and how often, daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, every two months or every six months are the choices here. You can even choose the specific day that you want your money to be invested in, such as your payday, and then set an initial deposit if you want to start with a lump sum investment of like, let's say, a thousand, ten thousand pounds, however much it might have saved up. Trading 212 then projects the value of your portfolio over time based on the past performance of what you decided to invest in. So it's not the best projection as none of us know what's going to happen in the future. However, it is all there. You can also turn on a dividend reinvestment plan, which is also known as drip so that each time your etfs or stocks that you invest pays out a dividend that dividend gets invested right back into your portfolio giving you even more of that sweet sweet compound interest and better still trading 212 offers a stocks and shares isa and of course it wouldn't be an entire every quid video if i didn't talk about crypto investing and of course on the platform that i'm actually invested in just as a full disclosure and that is coinbase now i personally use coinbase for my crypto investing obviously i literally own the stock so why wouldn't i but when it comes to automating crypto investments allowing you to dollar cost average into the market to gradually build your wealth as no one can successfully time this market Market, especially the volatile crypto market, Coinbase has a recurring buys feature. It's got us all covered here. You can set amounts up to a thousand pounds to invest daily, weekly, twice a month or monthly. However, I will say don't keep your crypto on an open exchange. Get it secured via a Coinbase vault, wallet or even better a cold storage wallet to completely take it offline. And however, do also be aware of the fees that Coinbase and any of the other crypto exchanges for that matter charge. They can certainly add up, so make sure that you do your own research on what's the best for you in this space. And these days, you can even automate your way to buying your first home, and this is with Moneybox and their lifetime ISA that they offer. This is what I personally have myself. If you are an OG and have been with me since day one, you may have watched one of my earliest videos. I think it was literally my third ever video, which is an ultimate guide to ISAs. And if you have watched that, you'll know by now that a lifetime ISA can be a godsend for first time home buyers or for another really, really good retirement fund. The 25% government bonus that you get up to the yearly limit of paying in £4,000 is amazing in itself. If you do max out the 4K every year, that is a free £1,000 for you each year you do that. Moneybox is probably the best or at least one of the best provider of lifetime ISAs in the UK. You can open one either as a cash or a stocks and shares LISA. This is only me, but I'd recommend getting a cash LISA for first time home buyers and a stocks and shares ISA for a retirement fund. But anyway, please do your own research. And what's best is that there is a ton of automation in here too. So you can set an amount each week that you'd like to be taken from your bank account of choice, again, via that open banking system. This is collected every single Wednesday at midday. It's not just set amounts though. You can also set up roundups to be linked to your bank account to be deposited to your LISA or even a payday boost, which is a lump sum that will be taken out once you're paid so you can pay yourself as well as you're paying all of your bills off as well. Any weekly collection will leave your bank account via direct debit early the following week, which is usually on the Monday. It then gets added to the value of your LISA on the Tuesday. And on the Thursday, the money will start earning interest that Moneybox provides, which currently is 1% for cash licenses. All of this happens in the background, so you can just sit there and relax, knowing that your future is being taken care of. They also very helpfully send you plenty of reminders when your LISA allowance will end every single tax year, so you can rest assured that you should be able to max out your LISA every single year if you remain financially disciplined in order to do so. I did this in the last tax year and I'll no doubt do it again this tax year and for however many tax years I need to in order to buy my first home. They also offer a ton of calculators, tools and very informative blog type posts of how you can save and invest for your future via their Discover tab. I really, really like their mortgage calculator. That is a real, real help for me personally. But here is also where you can get access to Moneybox Plus for no extra cost, which gives you cash back and offers at certain merchants such as Booking.com, Audible, the Apple Store Online and John Lewis amongst many others. So there you have it, all of the automation options that you can shake a sticker and then some, saving, investing, crypto, 
buying your first home, retirement, whatever you want to do, you can just simply coast your way to it via these apps. As always, I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more money related content. As you might know by now, I post videos every Monday and Friday, so stick around for more in the future. Also, make sure to follow me on all of my socials for even more. Grab your free money and stocks using some of the links down below in the description. And remember, until next time, every quid counts. See you soon.